You um, obviously got a taste of the Super Bowl this year. Um, you got a taste of that atmosphere. You know, the Atlanta game two years ago, you guys had a great regular season. You made a step incrementally. Yeah. Didn't quite get over the hump. Then this year it looks like, you know, it's laid out for you. You lose 13-3. to three. I mean, most defenses are saying, well, we did our, we did our job. Um, you came out of that game and you tried to put responsibility on yourself, yeah. which I disagree with. But well, for me, I feel like as me, this is that was the biggest game of my life, and I feel like I ain't played my best. You know, I, obviously they, they did things to slow me down, but I feel like that's no excuse. I got to find a way to, to be better. You know, so you know that losing that game was was tough. Talking about it feel emotional. So. You know, you work all your life to get to that point and, and to lose. You know, if anything, it just motivates you that much more. So when when Rob Ninkovich was talking to me, because obviously when I got to New England, I'd never been in the playoffs. Yeah. I didn't know what it was about. He was like, "Listen, this Super Bowl thing is cool, but if you lose the Super Bowl, you you might as well have gone one in fifteen. In yeah. fact, I'd rather." Rob Ninkovich here. Want to talk to you a little bit about losing the Super Bowl and how it is absolutely terrible. And I'm going to explain to you why. Well, you have two weeks to prepare for that game. I played in Indianapolis, the awesome city that is. A great venue for a Super Bowl, nice and warm in February, right? Um, playing the New York Giants. Mentally trying to not think it's like the biggest game of your life, but it's the biggest game of your life. And when you lose that game, which I did, you absolutely have nothing. You have a bag full of shit to remind you shirts t-shirts hats that you lost that game and what are you going to wear that around like yeah i got a cool hat from the super bowl and i lost the game oh what hat's that from oh the the super bowl that i lost cool what was the score i don't freaking know i throw all that shit away i don't have it i don't have my afc championship ring i gave it to my dad i said melt this shit down take the diamonds out do whatever you want i don't care getting back to the super bowl loss when you lose the super bowl it's the worst feeling in the world I would much rather be in Aruba having multiple drinks on the beach, not having the stress and the depression and the thought of, I just lost a Super Bowl. I was off sides. I jumped off. I don't know. I missed a sack. I was able to get back and we won. Great. Now I can, now I have hair because of it and I don't look like uh, terribly um, obese or have depression issues. Losing the Super Bowl sucks. I. Don't wish it on my worst enemy. And yeah, I would rather not go than lose. Thanks for your time. See ya. What would you rather do, go 1-15 or lose a Super Bowl? <clears throat> like I said, after we lost, I said I'd rather not have been here at all than, than lose it. You know, because it was tough. Like I'm talking about, like, you know, it, it was tough. I was, I was definitely down a couple, like at least two weeks off that. I still ain't finished. That's the only game I ain't, I ain't watched yet. I still ain't watched the Super Bowl yet. So, you know, you, to, to get that far to, and be that close to being a world champion, man, and, and to lose the way we lost, you know, a lot of people keep trying to say the offense is offense, but it's a team game. You know, if we was if we yeah, if we played great on defense, they wouldn't have scored no points and we could have won. So. Yeah, you're always thinking, man, one more turnover, one big play, and I know how you think. Was there one play? And you had to deal with a lot that game. Yeah. I mean, as far as attention and, and game plan, um, I can hear Bill probably in the meeting room. Like, We're not going to let Aaron fucking Donald beat us. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, he would say that all week. Um, was there one play you, you told Sue that drives on me? Was there one play in that drive where you were like, ah, if there was an inch different? I just didn't win my one-on-one -on -one clean. Yeah. You know, I, I was, I was, you know, I was getting a lot of tension, a lot of tension. And then you get your one. You don't and get. You're almost you, not ready for it. But it, there's no excuse. You're I got. Right. You can't. I can't rush and think and keep thinking. Of, uh, I'm gonna get a double team. I gotta. In my head, I gotta say I'm gonna get this one on one every time. Mm -hmm. So I won't second guess myself and to the point where I could have beat that guy easy if I would have just did did what I know and trust mm -hmm. what I you know my moves and, and instead we gave Tom Brady that much more time to sit back there and throw that ball down to Gronk to Gronk, catch that ball yeah. right there. So. And he and he gets the ball out quick. But that time he held it a little Not that time. He, but it's the same thing you're talking about. Like, it's like when you play a team that their timing predicated a lot of bubbles or quick throws or RPO stuff. Like, and then you get that one chance yeah. on a seven step and you're like, fuck, I wasn't ready. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's the thing about when you get a lot of attention. 
you can't let yourself get frustrated. And during that game, I let myself get frustrated at times. You just got to keep playing. It's going to eventually come. You just got to play, 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 and, it, and it's going to come. For, for me, I felt like I, I let my team down because I'm there, and they, they expect me to win the one-on-ones to help them. So I, I could have probably beat them and got the ball out. You never could have made that one big play to change the whole game around, and I didn't. So Yeah, I have a feeling we'll see you again on that stage. Uh, you know, you talk about frustration. How do you channel that to be the violent player you are? Because, listen, it's no secret, like, when you step between on those white, over those white lines, like, you're ready to fuck somebody up. And, like, at the drop of a hat, like, it could go south. Yeah. How do you walk that line? I mean, there's only been... Like, there's legends of you ripping somebody's face mask. <laughs> you're so strong, you ripped a guy's face mask off his helmet. Like, and you turned him into, like, George Blanda with the old fucking helmet. With no, I'm not going to get it whether or not you, you struck him with it, but, uh, you know... You had one instance in the Seattle game where I thought very rightfully so. You went a little you, – you were going after my man. <laughs> they were just doing stuff all game. How do, you walk, how do you walk that line, you know what I mean, like from being violent and playing – and then what are the situations where you're like, fuck that? Like, well, you got to – I shouldn't have did that. I should have been smarter. I disagree. But, yeah, but it, you got to – because you, you, you consider a leader on your team. So you can't show, as a leader, you can't show, you know, that type of stuff because that's, they throw flags and you hurt your team doing stuff like that. But it, for me, it's just like, they, I, they, I, they was doing stuff all game, little dirty stuff all game. I was telling them, y'all better, like, you know how I am. Yeah. So I'm, and yeah, you get a couple warnings. <laughs> like, and then they just, and then I'm running out of balance, hit me in my back. That was just, a, that just I just blacked out from there. But it, I, I got to be better. How do you? I don't really it's hard. It, yeah, it, how do you how do you how do you say listen? Because somebody does something dirty, they're fucking with your life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I said. Like I got, like this is my job. This is what you know. You we all love playing football, but at the end of the day, this is our job. This is how we feed our families. And you doing something, you don't know what can happen. You know, you could have did some stuff that I could have never played football another day in my life. You don't know that. Yeah, and one play can change. It everything. can change everything. That's what I'm saying. And for you to hit me in my back like that, it was just. That's why I blacked out. How I did yeah. was like. You're midway or a quarter of the way, whatever you want to be, you know, through a great career. Um, God willing, you play another 15 years. You told your dad when, when you got your big contract that he could hang his cleats up. First off, has he really hung his cleats up? Yeah, they hung up. Because he doesn't seem like a guy that deals with sitting around. Very no, long. He, he work out and do something, but him and my mom, they, they, they relax and, and, and feet's all kicked up. My so, dad's. Cheap as hell now. <laughs> That's the craziest thing. <laughs> I don't know. He's, got, he's, he's rich now, and now he's cheaper than ever. I don't get it. I'm like, all right, go ahead, man. But Good for him. You know. what, are you going to be able to do that? Are you going to be able to, when you hang your cleats up, I know it's early, but what's next? I mean, you know, what's 10 years down the line? Like, are you going to just, are you the type of guy that sits around? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I, there's no way where I'm going to be able to just sit around. I'm, I'm um, getting some, get some more, some real estate and, and some stuff for my brother, so... Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to wait more to do that when I'm more hands-on with mm -hmm. it and just focus more on football and not have too much floating around. No movies? No, no movies right now. At least they want me or something. You're so. in the right place for it. <laughs> but, you know, um, I definitely won't be able to sit around right. at all. So I'm, I'm definitely going, you know, real estate and if the movie's called, get in some movies. Or something. Maybe the Hulk, the Hulk 5 or something? You know, you know. What's the, where, where you know, are we I got some muscles Hulk's? now, man. What, you get so some you muscles? I got some muscles now. I know, I got, man. I, got a six I, need, now. I need some of this uh, protein that you got. <laughs> no protein, just weights. It really? Just weights. I don't take no protein. Will you send me your program? Yep, I got Okay. You. Almost there to the end of the AD uh, Fishbowl interview, the premiere. I've had a lot of fun, so uh, please stick around for the end. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting. A lot of quick hitters and uh, an old drop-in from a teammate who we both um, like to listen to tell jokes. Let's just put it that way. So stick around for the end of the interview, and please subscribe to our channel. And uh, thanks for watching.